Hey guys, it's Raven, also known as Angel Face Productions. And yeah, this video is to regards cyberbullying. Let's end it. It's no point to continue with drama. I mean, YouTube is meant to share videos and it's meant to make new friends and to meet new people and just, you know, just to be comfortable in your own skin and just to have fun and do what you love. And yeah, this video is requested from a friend of mine on YouTube. And I want to bring the message out because I have also been a victim of cyberbullying. And um, guys, I want you guys to just, you know, leave me a comment in the end and tell me what you think about this topic. You know, should people just, you know, bash on people just because of this, um, how good their success is? Should they just continue to pick fights with people? Should they make rumors and lies about someone when they know they're not true? I mean, cyberbullying is dumb and it's ignorant and I really think that we should just end it. I mean, literally, YouTube is meant to share videos and just, you know, to meet new people and to, and to just make friends, you know, and to meet some interesting people, either they're um, doll movie makers or just want to, you know, have a singing career or just want to make random videos with their pets or their family. Pretty much, you know, YouTube is meant to just, you know, just to, you know, interact with the world outside of you. That's what I'm going to say. And, yeah, pretty much I was a victim of cyberbullying and it's really, very hurtful. My feelings and self-confidence and my self-esteem was, you know, it just it broke down. You know, I literally felt, why should I be living in the world if people hate me? And why should I be living in the world if people are going to make rumors about me and tell them, and, and calling me a bitch and a liar and, and telling and trying and um, one person, um, I'm not going to say who it is, they said that I used my grandmother's, you know, sickness as a crutch to get videos popular and, t and said that, um, and then another person said I, um, I lied about my aunt being dead, but she's gone. I will never see my aunt again. And my grandmother, she's very sick right now, and I'm literally taking care of her. I give her water. I talk to her. I, she gives me advice. I'm always there for her when she needs me, and including my older brother, we're there for her, including my mom. And it's hard on us because, you know, life as we know it used to be happier when I was a kid, and, you know, our family is, you know, it's torn apart. Um... I don't want to get into my personal life, but it's very emotional. Um, I told myself I wasn't going to cry, but, um, you know, for the past couple of weeks, I've been off of YouTube. I have been crying. I literally sat in my bed. I literally had to cover my computer up with a with my bed roll because I was scared to log back in because I was scared that I would have viruses on my computer, and I was scared that I was going to have my YouTube accounts hacked. But then one day my brother told me, you know, why don't you check your computer and, you know, can I, can I look up some videos? And then I told him, no, I'm just scared. And he said, why are you scared? And I told him, and he literally said those were haters. I mean, why would they want to do that to you? And, you know, he literally made me feel better. But, you know, it's kind of hard when you, when your whole life is turned upside down when people don't. You know, they, they just bash on you because your subscribers, your success, your videos, and how well they did, and all that crap. And you know, you know, I get this was a life lesson learned, and um, I'm just glad I learned my lesson the hard way. And I'm glad someone, I'm not glad that I almost got hacked, I'm not glad because of that. But I'm glad I'm starting off fresh, and I'm glad um, I'm, I'm standing up for myself. And moving towards the right direction. And most of all, just being that strong young woman who wants to um, make her dreams come true. Even though some people told her that she can't make her dreams come true. If y'all already know, my Bratz Hill series that was officially going to be a season 3 for it has been cancelled. Due to haters, due to sexual like scenes, due to cursing and violence. Um, I think that parents wanted me to get it off of YouTube, or better yet, that girl who tried to hack me. I mean, and and most of all, my um half of the Brad's Hills episodes were on websites, and they were stolen from me. And literally, when um I deleted the videos, I don't know I don't know what happened, but both of the websites that had my videos, and literally they were taken down. So, 
I guess I was, I, um, I thank God for that. And yes, I am a Christian and I know I don't, um, I don't, I don't talk about, I don't talk about anyone behind their back. But anyway, back to the topic. I thank God for that and the videos, my old videos, they're officially gone. So don't be looking for any more Brad Hills videos. Don't for, be looking for anything with, you know, I mean, if, if I curse in some videos, well, I'm sorry because, you know, I'm not a little baby. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a kid. I mean, I mean, I'm a young adult. I mean, I'm going, I'm going, you know, I'm growing up. So pretty much, you know, if I cuss, it's, it's natural. So I don't really care what people say about me. But to have my Brad Hill series canceled, it's really hard. And, you know, I cried when I, when I had to let it go. But I knew that I was going to go downhill. I knew it wasn't going to reach, um, the fabulous life of Brad's status. I knew it wasn't going to reach any of my favorite YouTubers success I knew it wasn't gonna reach their views I knew it wasn't gonna reach nothing and then I had to think to myself why am I trying to compete against these people why am I trying to be so much like these people when I just need to be myself and then I realized you know it's better to start out fresh and and just be me and not try to try to um get my videos so popular that they can be better than anyone else's I guess I'm used to um you know just thinking ahead and just, you know, just letting all, just letting all natural things go, you know, to waste. But pretty much I thank you for subscribing to my page if you like my videos. And if you do want to see some more videos from me, well then check out my backup channel. I will start making videos as soon as possible and yeah pretty much subscribe for me there and yeah thank you guys for the support and it truly means a lot the, um this midlife experience didn't break me down I mean some tears might have been shed no blood was shed thank god words were um you know just was just thrown all over the place and just yeah pretty much I'm okay I'm still standing um as for a new series I will begin filming on that soon so yeah, I know a lot of people keep on asking me, oh, like, what's going to happen next? And, you know, ah, la, 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 la. And I cannot tell you guys anything, but I will tell you the inspirations were Watermelon813 and Yasmin Passion one Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And, yeah, I love my fans. And I love my friends. And you guys mean so much to me. Um... I've been literally just up and down on this roller coaster ever since my aunt passed away and it's literally hard um just to think about it and my birthday's coming up um my birthday is December the 24th and just just to think about all this is literally upsetting and very depressing but I told myself it's better to forget and forgive and just let live and let God and just just do what I do what I have to do and just be happy and not cry anymore and just you know keep moving on and with life and I just want to say thank you guys so much for that and for the kind words thank you so much for the support thanks to my friends who either talk to me on Flickr or um on my email or YouTube just thank you guys it means so much to me um just to have you guys near me I know I don't get to get back to y'all all like y'all expect me to, but I promise I will do whatever I have to to get back to you guys. Um, thank you so much. Um, and yeah, um, I hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving and I hope you guys have a good Christmas and a happy new year. And yeah, pretty much um, more videos to come from me. The websites that had stolen my videos were taken down. The person who tried to hack me deleted her account and people blocked her and unfriend her. And yeah, pretty much, I guess, justice was served. Um, just remember, cyberbullying will affect any any individual out there like me. So don't just don't believe anyone who, who um, says they're a fan of your work because they might be fake and they might be losers or liars. So just stay strong. Don't believe everything you hear. Let's end cyberbullying for good. And yeah, just join my cause. Make a video. Um, yeah, if you want to make a video to this video, 
I will have a video response open. If you want to make a video, please help me support this cause. I want you guys to support this. I want us all to join together and stop cyberbullying. My voice is not the only one that should be heard. All of your voices need to be heard. Make a video response to this in cyberbullying. Let's end it. Let's protect our YouTube accounts and let's stay strong. God is love. This is Angel Face Productions. I gotta go. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my other videos. And remember to also subscribe and free me on my backup channel as well. I love you guys and goodbye.